Research shows pregnant women are more at risk of falling seriously ill from COVID, but vaccine take-up has been an ongoing concern. Even those who work for the NHS have had doubts. I was really scared that am I going to make this decision based on something I don't really know anything about and it's going to affect our ability to have a family and that it really did scare me for a while. At the start of the rollout, there was no clinical data on the effects of the COVID jab on pregnant women. For a brief period, this was the official advice. Given the lack of evidence, the JCVI favours a precautionary approach and does not currently advise COVID-19 vaccination in pregnancy. The advice was then updated within weeks to say... Vaccination in pregnancy should be considered where the risk of exposure to severe COVID infection is high and cannot be avoided, or where the woman has underlying conditions that put them at very high risk of serious complications of COVID-19. Nearly four months after that, in April 2021, the advice changed again. Well, what happened is that in the United States, they were using the, vac the Pfizer vaccine in pregnant women. Uh, and once we had over 90,000 cases that, they're, that they've used the vaccine. Um, we determined that the vaccine was safe and therefore we recommended that the vaccine was used in pregnant women according to their age cohort. Then later in 2021, when we determined that there was actually increased risk from pregnancy, both to the mother and the baby, we actively mounted a campaign to encourage pregnant women to take up the vaccine. A leading expert on maternal deaths says the way the initial advice was communicated was unhelpful, but stresses that the JCVI had little choice in the absence of clinical research. The message, don't get vaccinated because we haven't got any information, is very subtly different from don't get vaccinated because it's not safe. Um, so so you, you can imagine then, you think, oh, well, I can't get vaccinated because I'm pregnant, it must not be safe. Whereas actually we're saying you can't get vaccinated because we don't yet have enough information. Data shared with Newsnight today shows there have been at least 40 deaths from COVID amongst pregnant and immediately postnatal women in the UK. 38 of these women, the vast majority, were unvaccinated. More than half of these deaths happened during the Delta and Omicron waves when pregnant women were eligible to take up the vaccine. With COVID vaccinations, confidence and convenience are vital. Pop-up clinics like at this maternity unit in Bradford means pregnant women can come and ask questions during routine appointments and, if they want, get their jab there and then. I was worried at the beginning, but after me having COVID in January, I believe <laughs> it can go worse. <laughs> so it's, uh, I'd rather get the protection. Bradford's vaccine lead told me misinformation about the vaccines, particularly on social media, has distressed some pregnant women. They wanted a bit more reassurance about what the side effects were, what the, um, the evidence and data was saying about safety. I think it's just natural for a pregnant woman to say, is it safe for me? Is it safe for my baby? And we've got the evidence, we've got the data to be able to say, yes, it is. And Professor Knight argues that the inclusion of pregnant women in clinical trials must become standard practice to ensure the necessary data is available earlier in the future. I think pregnant women are, are frequently an afterthought. Um, it, it's because the default is exclude pregnant women from research because they're a vulnerable group. But we actually need to recognise that because they're a vulnerable group, we should be including them in research unless there's a good reason not to. This has perhaps been the first year where my job has made me cry because, because I, I, you know, that was a preventable situation. The UK's regulator, the MHRA, says it's looking into how it could safely increase diversity in clinical research, including pregnant women. For now, frontline health workers will focus on addressing concerns, one family at a time.